how do their chums to say, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, on my big TV, this one, that one there, yeah, I'm going to be reviewing Avatar, The Last Airbender, for Netflix. So let's, uh, let's get the old trailer up on the screen, shall we, people? It's a little bit larger and hit play. So, here we go. So the trailer's on in the background. Now, what did I think of Avatar, The Last Airbender? It's a lot better than the film adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender, but whereas the film version was pretty much suitable for all ages, much like the cartoon and anime, this has got some pretty gnarly death scenes. You're looking at sort of Mortal Kombat plus one. Yeah, fatality with their freaking flame airbending, pretty much barbecuing people alive. So I wouldn't say this is a family friendly jaunt by any stretch of the imagination which they could have quite easily have cut those scenes and made it accessible to all but for whatever reason they chose not to i'm liking all the creature designs and the flying sort of buffalo thing that he flies on and yeah ang the main character freaking awesome his relationship with the other antagonists the main character leads are great however i would say every single character in this series has got daddy issues he, the, the the bad guy been um, abandoned by his dad that scar on his face given to him by his dad everybody's like oh my dad's not proud of me type stuff including him that like guy in blue from the water place yeah everybody's got daddy issues in this one they really have and from the anime if i remember rightly the actual waterbender the girl in the crew was quite jealous of ang's ability to bend water Ang inside the whole of season one only bends air, doesn't even attempt with any of the other elements, even though that they know that they are the master of all. It just didn't really make too much sense there. Most of the fight scenes and most of the actual animation in this takes place either in darkness or in thick fog. <laughs> There's a lot of that. Or in snowstorms. Or super close up so you can't really see the action going on. But when you do see the action, it's quite floaty, quite turny, whirly. It's like a ballerina event. But at the same time, I actually found this really enjoyable. I really liked this and I can't wait for season two. I know I just slated pretty much everything about it, but it's actually good. I'm going to give this a 7.8 out of 10. If they actually made this completely family friendly and opened it up a little bit more for the whole family, I probably would have scored it higher. I actually really liked it. I didn't like it as much as One Piece, but I liked it more than Be um, Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. And yeah, I only watched like three episodes of that and then I gave up on that one. But One Piece I freaking loved and I honestly can't wait for season two of that. This sort of sits somewhere in between the two of them. It's great, but they could have made it more family orientated. And the script for this, it's, it's not much more advanced than the anime. In fact, I'd say the anime has got more grown up script patter in it. This one, the script is like it was written for 12 year olds, yet the actual content is made for those over 14. It, it kind of loses its audience in between there slightly. But anyway, that's my um, roundup of Avatar, The Last Airbender. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again, people in the viewer verse.